Hi scientists, welcome back to the last part of lesson one, chapter four. Our earlier work in this unit as meteorologists has helped us understand climate in different locations. We thought about when places would have hot, cold, wet, and dry seasons. Now we have figured out a pattern to where certain kinds of weather actually happen. Let's find out if there's also a pattern to where climates are hotter or colder. Let's take a minute and look at this map and we'll review it together. Notice all the boxes on the left. Each box corresponds to a location on the map. You can see at the top the Anchorage box and trace the line all the way over to the small white dot that shows us where Anchorage is located. Now we can do the same thing for Vancouver. Right below it, you can trace it with your finger if you want to and then Seattle. Notice the cities in, in the boxes are listed in order from north to south. You can see that two locations have already build, been filled in for you. After filling in the rest of the gray boxes, we're gonna use that data to predict temperatures for each of the white boxes, those locations we have not found in our reference book. Your prediction choices are 60 degrees, 40 degrees, or 87 degrees. So that might help you make some decisions. First, I'll show you Anchorage, Alaska, and then we'll go through the rest. Here is a page from the book, World Weather Handbook. You might have looked at it in chapter one with scientist Kate. If you don't remember, we'll just use the text here to remind us. The text that I have circled says, the average high temperature can be as cold as 23 degrees Fahrenheit or as warm as 65 degrees Fahrenheit depending on the month. So that tells us for Anchorage, Alaska, the average high temperature in the coldest month is 23 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's see if this can be confirmed by looking on the next page of the text. Here we see two bar graphs. If I look just at the temperature bar graph on the green side, which is on the left, I wanna find the lowest or the coldest bar, which says the temperature is about 23 degrees Fahrenheit. So that means we can record Anchorage's average high temperature for the coldest month as 23 degrees Fahrenheit in the Anchorage box. Now here is some more data for other cities. We know that Seattle is 46 degrees Fahrenheit, Mumbai is 85 degrees Fahrenheit, Jakarta is 84 degrees Fahrenheit, and Rio de Janeiro is 77 degrees Fahrenheit. If you want to, pause right here and see if you can trace your finger along each line all the way over to where those cities are in the world. There are so many pieces we can observe, so we're gonna see if we can find a pattern in the map. Let's just look on the left side at the numbers, and remember, the map goes from north to south for each city. I see 23, 41, 46, 85, 84, 77, and 64. So what pattern do you notice happening in those numbers? Remember, you can always pause the video to write down or think about or say your answers. I notice, for example, the temperatures seem to go from cold to warm and then back down to cold again as we travel from north all the way south. So that means that the hottest temperatures are in the middle and the coldest seem to be at the top and bottom near both the north and south poles. So in addition to patterns of natural hazards, there's also a pattern to where hot and cold climates are found. Now let's see if we can make some predictions based on these patterns. What could you predict for Baghdad? So look on the left, find Baghdad, it's that first white box, and trace your finger all the way across. Now look at the temperature right above and right below. If you had to choose from 60 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Fahrenheit, or 87 degrees Fahrenheit, which one would you wanna fill in for Baghdad? Hopefully you chose the same one I did, which I think it might be 60 degrees Fahrenheit. 
because the temperature pattern moves from cold at the top to warm in the middle and then back to cold again. I know that 60 is right in between 46 and 85. So that's the one I think I'm gonna choose to put there. Now, if we had to do the next two cities, what would you predict? 40 or 87 degrees for each. Be sure to pause and look for patterns if you need to. You can always write your answers down or say them out loud. Okay, I've made my predictions and let's see if yours match mine. I put the first one for Manaus at 87 degrees Fahrenheit and Ushuaia down in the very southern point of South America, I put 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So throughout this unit so far, we've used graphs to find temperature and precipitation patterns. Today we used a new tool, maps. Maps allowed us to find patterns for hazardous weather and they also helped us find a pattern for hot and cold climates. Now before we end our lesson, I want you guys to think about your answer to this question. This is what you answered at the beginning of our lesson. Do you think weather can be dangerous? Has your opinion changed? If so, in what way? What new thing did you figure out? If not, and you knew weather was already dangerous, then what's something new that you learned through, through looking at our maps in this lesson? Take your time to answer both of these, and I will see you next time in lesson two for chapter four.